Hi everyone, in today's video, we're going to create a script that allows the user in order to use the mouse cursor and drag any window around the screen like this by clicking anywhere on it. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a hotkey using the Alt key and the left mouse button. And then I will run the mouse get pause command in order to get the X and Y coordinates of my mouse cursor, as well as the unique ID of the window that sits underneath my mouse cursor. And once we get that, I'm going to run the winget command in order to check the min max state of the window that sits underneath the mouse cursor, which is going to be stored into the selected window. It's HWND will be. And then I'm going to run a if statement to check whether the window state is zero, which means the window is neither maximized nor minimized, which means when I run this hotkey, I won't be able to move the window when the window is maximized like this. And then I'm going to run a set timer, which is going to point to a label called my label with an interval of one millisecond. I'll create that. I'll create that label down here where I'm going to run another instance of mouse get pause command. In, in this instance, I'm going to store the position of the mouse cursor inside a variable called mouse current x and y. I don't need the rest, so I'll take this out. So the difference between this and this is when this command runs, we will store the position in terms of x and y coordinate of the mouse cursor in these variables. And then there will be one millisecond delay until we run this command to store the subsequent position of the mouse cursor, its x and y coordinate. So if I were moving my mouse cursor across the screen like this, then within the one millisecond interval, I'm going to get a different coordinates for the X and Y mouse coordinates. So these two are going to be different with each other. Now afterwards, I'm going to do a win get pause. And this time I'm going to get the selected windows X coordinate and Y coordinate. I don't need the width or the height and win title is going to be the selected window. And that will give us, for example, I'm going to be using this notepad as my target window. And this command will give us the top left hand corners coordinates, X and Y coordinates, and have them stored into selected window X and selected window Y. And finally, I will do win move. When title is going to be this one, take out when text, and then take all of this out. We don't need the width and height because we're not going to adjust the width and height of the target window. So we'll take this out. We just have to provide X and Y coordinates, which are going to be worked out in a mathematical operation. So we're first going to start off with the selected windows X position. So this is going to be the starting position in terms of X and Y. And here, I'm going to add mouse current x, take away mouse start x. So what this does is, starting from this point, it will add and subtract these two values, which is going to work out the difference between the mouse current x coordinate and mouse start x coordinate. So let me bring up my paint to demonstrate what I mean by that and let's say my mouse cursor is right here before the label runs and then if I move my mouse cursor to the right it will have this much distance of travel and let's say this all happened within a one millisecond interval and that is going to be the amount of x coordinate that we are going to move the target window by in this mathematical formula. 
and the y is going to be exactly the same so it's going to have selected window y mouse current y and mouse start y and that's good enough and then what we have to do is update the mouse start x to mouse current x and mouse start y to mouse current y and that is important because at the end of this label what we want is the current x coordinate and y coordinate to be transferred over to the mouse start x coordinate and mouse start y coordinate meaning the ending point is going to be the starting point in the next round of running this my label label and then when do we stop the hotkey from running when we lift the left mouse button up right so we're going to have to get the key state of the left mouse button l button state so this is going to be the variable where the state of the left mouse button is going to be saved and the condition is p that stands for pressed and if l button state is up then we're going to set the time up of the label loop oh sorry the my label off and return here else we stop here and then the set timer will continuously run with an interval of one millisecond until such time we lift the mouse uh, button up so that the my label set timer gets turned off okay so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens when i just do that so l button so alt alt and l button is going to move this window as you can see it's a bit odd it's not really moving the way i want it to and i'm also going to add the tilde signs in front of these two keys so that you can see in my on-screen display script you can see how i'm pressing this hot key but as you saw just now it was going crazy and that is because we need to set the chord mode of the mouse to screen and then if i rerun the script then i should be able to move the window as and when i press the alt and left mouse button and have it follow my mouse cursor like that but you probably realize that this window is not moving in a manner that is not very smooth and that is because we need to set the wind delay to nothing and when we do that and rerun the script to move the window around this time it will move the window very smoothly as you can see across the screen you can do this on other windows as well like visual studio code or if you have chrome you can do it on chrome as well so this will work with almost all windows I can think of. And so this is how you can create a script to use a mouse cursor to move it around by clicking anywhere on it. Okay, this is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.